What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com and in this tutorial you will learn how to create a basic table view in Xcode. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So we're going to start by creating a new Xcode project. Select single view application and name it whatever you like. Jump into the main storyboard and add a table view object to your view controller. Jump into the attributes inspector on the right and also add one prototype cell. Select that cell and give it an identifier name in the attributes inspector. Call this whatever you like, but make sure you name this something meaningful as you will need it later on. So we're going to go over to our class and add the UI table view data source protocol and also the UI table view delegate protocol to the class. And we're going to also create an IB outlet for our table view. I'm also going to create an array of dummy data, just a bunch of names so my table view can show that data. So we then want to go into the view to load method and make sure you set the table view delegate and the data source to self. So Xcode will give an error, but do not worry. We just need to add a few more methods. So just below the view load method, add the method self row index path and also the number of rows in section. So the number of rows in sections method tells the table view how many cells to show. So we want to return the number of items in the array. So we're going to use the name of the array followed by dot count. So in the self row index path function, we're going to return the cell we created earlier in our table view. So in this method, we need to create a reference to our cell by using tableview.deskview reusable cell with identifier. So we're going to be using the identifier we created earlier. In this case, I use cell, so it will be cell and it will be for the index path. So in this application, I want to display all the names from my array in my table view. In our cell for our index path function, we need to add cell.textlabel.text equals the name of our array. And then you open a squared bracket and add index path.row. So that line of code there will get the names from the array and put it into each text label. And all we have to do after that is return the cell. If you go ahead and hit build and run, your UI table view should be working fine and displaying the names in your array. If you've had any problem guys, hit me up in the comment section. Let us know if you liked the video and as always, we'll catch you in the next one.